Well, hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ben. Today we are going to start on a new tutorial and we are going to look at Axios, which is a HTTP client for the browser and Node.js. The reason why it's said uh, for browser, it's because you can run it on client side and also on JS, on Node.js backend uh, can also be run. So this is the GitHub page for Axios. And as you can see, there are so many uh, uh, information here and the documentation for it so all these things we'll be looking at them in the next probably three four five videos and um, we'll try to make it as easy as possible so we're going to use it on a node.js backend uh, but you can also replicate the same to work in a front-end uh, uh, setup so I've created my node.js application here what I've done is I've installed uh, Axios, Express, and Nodemon so that um, I can have a real-time reload uh, or a watcher in that case. Uh, we have uh, my command which is start. I want it to uh, go to the entry point which is the app.js. I have a Nodemon config file here. See, so this is where I'll add files that I need uh, not to watch in case i'm saving something on uh, git ignore i don't want it to reload i just wanted to ignore that um we have our views here this probably we won't use them but uh, maybe we'll see we have our utils this is where i've created my axios instance so since i had installed axios on this end i've decided to have a http file here where i'll just pass in my default uh, axios config so I won't have to call Axios every time I need to make a request. We'll see this one in future. But as you can see, we have base URL here, which I've not uh, provided anything. Uh, we have our headers here, which I've already set. And I've said use credentials is true. And we'll know why we are doing that. Um, tests, nothing there. Public, nothing. Node modules, you understand. Um, we have models. Uh, this project is assumed or I've assumed that I'm making a normal Node.js uh, project and this is just how I plan my directory plus other things and sometimes I'll just show you in directories. We have our mocks uh, folder here. This is where I put all the responses in terms of JSON. So if the server is down, I'm able to continue uh, maybe developing because I have my mock results here. We have our middleware, midwares and this is where I just write all my midwares. And as you can see, I have already one middleware that will um, add a header uh, response. And this is just directed to other developers who will just click to see the headers of the requests that I've been making. So we'll discuss that and we'll see how it works. Then we'll have a common and this is where we'll put everything. Say we have a React front end that uh, shares something with uh, the back end. Uh, so this will just put the common or if I have anything here that requires something that is so common on all of them, I'll just use it here. So this is just the basic of the project and inside my app folder, I have uh, my express up to here. I think you know, perfect. Then this is where I'm importing now the HTTP on my utils, which is now my uh, Axios instance and uh, currently it's not in use because this is what we're going to learn today so nothing new um, then we have our headers which is inside our middlewares as i had said and i'm putting it again as a middleware here so as you can see upload use the headers middleware and then here we are listening to the requests through port 3000 so this is where you're serving our request through so if there'll be an error i want to see the message but if there's no error, I want um, to show that, it, uh, that my application is listening on port uh, 3000. So this is just normal uh, for those people who are used to Node.js and Express. This is simple. So inside our home route, I want to just send hello world. So let us run this application and then we'll proceed with what is next so i'll just write npm start remember start is our entry point on our package dot json as you can see we have start so it will just interpret this to nodemon.app so let's click enter 
and node mono will fire and start listening to changes as you can see uh, node mono has started and right now it is it's watching anything and extensions mostly that is checking sjs uh, mjs and json perfect and again i'm using uh, then the client which is going to help me in making a request without leaving vs code environment so here if because we're already listening and we have our port 3000 here so if i just say send i'll get my hello world which is what we had here and as you can see we have also the headers and the header that i had set initially uh, is hello human again i can also disable this expired by so i can just copy by like that so that now uh, anyone using this won't be able to see what um, or which environment i'm running so we have expired by is gone we have our human which is the header that we provided here and we say uh, hey human what are you doing here yeah. so yeah you can put anything it's not just you put a uh, human right yeah so let's meet in our next video and we'll now start on our axios uh, requests thank you very much let's meet